Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about in this video is how to control your mind, okay, in order to pass the GED exam. So at first glance, you might be saying, well, this, you know, this is some sort of kind of mind control or hypnotic uh, uh, video that, you know, some sort of secret mental trick in order to pass the GED. Well, not quite. Okay. I want you to stick around because what I'm going to share with you is going to be critically important, probably the most important thing that you're going to need to know in order to pass the GED, but in really to um, understand about yourself so you can even achieve uh, bigger goals through your life. Okay. So the three things I'm going to cover here, uh, when I'm trying to go pretty briefly, uh, the first thing is how your thinking really does determine whether you're going to be uh, whether you're going to pass or fail the GED, all right? I'm going to get into all these th things here in detail in a second, but I just want to give you a quick outline. The second thing is, well, what type of thinking do you need to have in order to pass, okay? And then the third thing is, how do you shift your thinking? So if you're not thinking correctly, well, how do you make that shift? All right, so with that being said, let's get right to it. All right, so your thinking. Your thinking really does determine whether you pass or fail the exam, okay? Now, how do I know this? Well, I've been working with students, thousands of students for a long, 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 long time, okay? And I'm extremely effective at helping students learn math. But here's the deal, okay? Here's the subject of math. And you can replace this subject with any other subject, language, science, whatever the case might be, okay? Now, people are want to learn math for various reasons. One, they may need to um, pass a course. But in your case, if you're watching this video, you are likely needing or wanting to pass the GED, which is a very smart and intelligent thing to do. You need to get your GED. So if, you, if you're going to leave this video, all right, in like 10 seconds, I'm going to tell you right now, you must get your GED for yourself, okay? It's so critically important in uh, today's uh, day and age and going forward in the future. So, you know, I'm going to congratulate you on being smart enough to be like, hey, I need to get my GD. I need to do something about that. OK, now here's what happens for most uh, kind of students. They'll they'll go to a, you know, a class or take a course. They'll get a tutor or or they'll get some material and they'll start learning uh, math. OK, they're just trying to kind of learn the skills or follow what the teacher's doing, et cetera. And of course they have their goal to learn math so they can pass the GED. But here's the deal, okay? You're not gonna be able to learn math if you have some poor thinking patterns, okay? Just gonna kind of scribble over here. Well, what is what am I talking about here, this poor thinking patterns? Well, this is kind of running in your background. It's kind of like your software, okay? now. Here's what I've heard uh, over the years um, from folks that, especially people who are trying to get their high school equivalency. Um, so tell me if this sounds familiar. Do you have these kind of thoughts, these kind of insecurities like, man, I messed up in school. I was such a loser. I don't think I'm really truly smart enough. Um, other people really are smarter than me because if I was smart, I would have uh, passed school or Maybe my family, they don't, you know, nobody went to college. No one, everyone is, you know, a high school dropout. So that's just the way I'm going to be. Or maybe uh, I'll just will never learn math. I'm not, you know, smart enough. I don't deserve this promotion because I'm not good enough. Okay. So you hopefully you can kind of get a sense of, of uh, what I'm trying to s say here. It's difficult for me to even say because it's hurtful thinking. Now imagine me saying this to you on the other end of this video and it, it's it, and I feel uncomfortable saying it to whoever's listening to this now imagine yourself telling these things to yourself okay you are saying these things to you or right, so let's say here you are right you're saying things but they're going right back into your head you don't understand okay how difficult it is to learn when you have these kind of thinking patterns, 
these kind of self-doubts and insecurities. And they form over time, and we all have them to any degree. So I'm not saying to you that, hey, I don't even have them. We all have them. But here's the key. Those folks, especially um, who had a, you know, a, something um, terrible happened to them, okay, somewhere in their education, and, and, and they were unable to get their high school diploma, that's a, a rather, you know, significant event in someone's life. That's a bad thing, you know. So, you know, I, I don't know if you want to use the word traumatic, but, you know, it's tough. And it, it carries a lot of, you know, mental uh, consequences, negative mental consequences. I can tell you for the people that I've worked with, and this is a lot for many, many years. I mean, literally, um, I would be surprised if the numbers of 99% of the people who have pretty strong negative baggage. And they might say first, no, no, no. And they look very confident. They're doing well and this and that. But when you really get down in their in their heads, okay, they are carrying a lot of this self-doubt and insecurity. You won't look at it. Even yourself, you might be like, well, look, I look good. You know, I dress professional. I do well. I could put, but deep down inside, when, especially when you get stressed, you this stuff might come out. Be like, oh, but I don't even know why I'm trying to go for this. I'll never be able to do this. So you, you know, you just kind of push it off. So here's the thing: your thinking, if you have this kind of thinking pattern, it is going to determine whether you pass or fail the exam. Okay, it sets the tone because if you if you're running this program, it's very difficult to learn. It's very difficult to learn effectively. This is like a barrier to uh, in, in place. This thinking pattern builds a brick wall for you to actually learn. So, you know, you're only going to get maybe 10% of the information, which is going to not be, it's not going to be enough. So what's going to end up happening? You're going to do poor on math exams. And all that's going to do is just reinforce this negative thinking. So when I work with someone, uh, a new student, I always address the thinking or we know you want to do a good mental audit, if you will. Okay. So just know, right, whether it's the GED or anything else, you need to do a checkup from the neck up, if you will. You really got to take a mental psychological inventory of yourself and be truthful. You don't have to share this with anyone else. Just be truthful or right? write these things down and don't be um, down and out that uh, if you, you know, if you have these these doubts. One, it's normal, but but the great message here is that you can you can make you can you can address these things, and success can happen rather quickly for you. Okay, so let's go down here to our next thing I want to talk about, and talk about well, what what type of thinking do you need to pass? Okay, so well, if that's the case, if if uh, thinking influences whether you are going to pass or fail, then what type of thinking do you, you need to have? Well, I'm going to basically tell you, okay? So here you are. You need to start working on your self-confidence, all right? You need to start telling yourself, and there's a lot of different ways to kind of do it. And I'll talk, talk about here in a second how to shift your thinking. But one, you can, all right? You can pass, all right. You need to be convinced that, yes, I, can, I am smart. I am intelligent. I am this. I, and all these phrases, instead of, I am not smart enough. I, I am a loser because I dropped out of school. I am whatever. You need to just take those phrases okay, and eliminate them from your thinking. And you got to replace them with things that are going to make you self-confident. All right. Now, when it comes to... Uh, mathematics, uh, what I like to do with students to start working on their confidence is to basically start with what they know. Okay. So maybe that be, well, I might be like, Hey, do you know what one plus one is? Hey, it's two. Excellent. You know what? You know something. That's just your starting point. Think of it as a ladder. Okay. Here's a ladder. And it doesn't make a difference if someone maybe is starting here or starting here and we're going up. Yeah, of course, this person has a head start, but this person, as long as they're moving up, will get where this person's going and they'll get to the same destination. So what I'm telling you is don't judge yourself on current results, okay? Just psychologically be proud of yourself. You need to look at things that you have a lot of self-confidence about. And trust me, you have a ton of them, right? Um, you just need to look at your life and, and really appreciate the positive aspects 
of yourself and just start saying to yourself, well, I can do this. I can pass. I can. All right. I can. That's the word can correctly. Blink. And make sure it's a positive phrase. Right. So basically the type of thinking that you need to have, right, is positive thinking, supportive thinking. It's like a trying to grow something in the field, like a farm, right? You need to have a nice, supportive, positive, fertile kind of ground, okay? Because then if I drop in some math, if you will, and knowledge, your mind you're, is going to be receptive. Your psychology is going to be receptive, and you're going to learn, and you're going to learn rapidly, okay? It's like the soil in your mind. Now, you might have... Um, seen some other videos or read some things about positive thinking and, and whatnot. I don't know what you think about it personally, but I'm going to tell you right now, it is at the core, it's, it is the core of success. Okay. Now I'm, not, I'm even talking beyond the GED exam or whatever thing, everything else, your thinking patterns, your beliefs, your convictions, all this stuff, Master this part of yourself, okay? Uh, invest in, in, in that part of yourself, your personal development, because it's going to change everything, okay? So, again, what type of thinking do you need to pass? Well, you need to be confident. You need to be confident that you can learn and you can pass, right? And it's not going to take forever. You also need to be worthy of the concept of, hey, I need to pass because I'm you know, I'm worthy of this promotion. I'm worthy of this career. I'm worthy to go to college. I'm worthy to be this. And by the way, let me just um, state to you um, as well. If your goal is to get a, G, a GED and do the next step, maybe it's a vocational school or college, you need to shoot, your, establish uh, your goals to be very high, be very high. So that's another thing with your thinking. You don't want to have limited thinking. All right. And that's something you want to be careful of. You can be excited about, hey, I'm going to get my GD and move on to the next step. Well, guess what? That is, you're capable of so much more, all right? So dream big, have big aspirations, okay? And just tell yourself that you can, all right? Now, let's get down to how do you start to actually shift your thinking, okay? So, you know, basically, we know that thinking is critically uh, important, that you need positive, supportive, confident thinking in order to pass. But how do you go from negative thinking to positive thinking? How do we, how do, we do this? Well, this is where, this is the tough part, okay? And to shift the pattern, okay, you got to realize that thinking, thinking is a habit, right? We have habitual thinking. We're like on autopilot. So what we're really talking about here in the end is, is changing a habit, okay? Well, how do you change a habit? Well, you really got to just work on it every day, okay? It's not a perfect process. One, you have to make it important. You have to, you have to be focused. You have to be focused on and conscious that you are consciously attempting to change a habit. So once you're conscious and you're aware that, hey, I'm trying to work on my negative thinking pattern here, you're going to catch yourself thinking negatively and you're going to, then you're going to be aware, be like, Oh man, I'm kind of falling into my old mental thought process here. So I need to not do that. So you need to find some techniques for yourself to, to reinforce positive, um, kind of your self-confidence and those type of things. There's a lot of different things that you can do that will help you. I would say one, get the negativity out of your life. Okay. You want to be in a, as a supportive environment as you can. So when we're trying to move from negative to positive, you want to kind of, you know, get rid of as much negative things in your life. And, you know, that would include, you know, for me, things like the news. Okay. I limit the amount of news I watch because it's a lot of bad news in the world. And it's, you know, there's a lot of tragic things going on. It's tough. But if I absorb myself with that, you know, I, I get... You know, you, you, you start believing that the world's a bad place and the world is, you know, what you focus on is where your beliefs are going to come from. So we try to shift your mind to things that are going to be more supportive. Also, the people you're around, okay, 
You know, so oftentimes people are generally going to fall one or two categories. They're either going to be positive people for you or negative people. And that it can include family, friends, you know, obviously coworkers, et cetera. So you might want to try to, you know, maybe limit conversations with people that really kind of bring you down. Um, thing you want to also, you want to immerse yourself in like positive things. All right. Stay positive. Keep yourself focused. All right. And focused on positive things. Study. All right. Study. Um, create like a vision board. Like, hey, what are you what are you trying to do with your life? I'm, you know, be focused on your goals. Anything that's going to put you in a better mental state, more confident state, a state to, that that basically reinforces in your brain why you're trying to pass the GED. I mean, like, really, honestly, why are you trying to pass the GED? I mean, if you had to ask that question, if your if your answer was, well, I'm just trying to get this job, or I'm just, you know, I have to. Well, it goes, you know, really, there's bigger reasons there, right? You wanna, you wanna make more money. Well, why do you wanna make more money? For example, well, I wanna take better care of my family, or I wanna leave a stronger legacy to my children, or be a better example to my community, or whatever the case might be. You know, you, you know, are are just starting out on this journey of, of, of really growing academically, okay? If, if the GED is what you, what you need to start. And I would encourage you to not stop learning after you get your GED, okay? You don't, don't necessarily you don't have to go off to college or whatnot, but become a lifelong learner, you know, and just keep, and with this, in today's day and age, with YouTube and you know, the internet and whatnot, you can just continue to learn and grow and get smarter and smarter, um, you know, it's just going to feed your brain, all right, and just reinforce to you that you are capable of learning knowledge, new skills, applying things. It's an essential thing. But anyways, I don't want to keep going on and on in, in this video, but let's just quickly review real fast the main concepts here, okay? One, your thinking really is going to determine whether you pass or fail, all right? So take a good inventory of your thinking, your current thinking, and be honest about it. So what type of thinking do you really need to pass? You got to get confident, right? You got to start telling yourself that you can pass, right? And believe in yourself. You got to start believing in yourself. And the way you're, that's going to happen is you're going to have to make a shift, right? You're going to have to get the, you're going to have to limit the negativity and you're going to have to increase the positivity in your life. And this isn't, the way you see this is in your habits, all right? Do you wake up in the morning? Do you watch a, bad, a lot of bad news? Do you, you know, waste a lot of time, that kind of thing? When you start seeing your habits shift, you're going to start having a new kind of self-identity. You're going to get even more self-confident, and now it's a virtuous cycle. Then learning is going to become easier, all right? Like 90% easier, and you're going to be able to get to your goals so much quicker. Well, I know this video is maybe a little bit longer than it uh, needed to be, but this stuff is so critical um, that, you know, you need to pursue it, in, in my opinion, uh, for a lifetime. Um, so hopefully, you know, uh, it's impacted you and it excited you to kind of take your goals and move forward. But I do a ton of stuff, um, not only just about math and other topics, but basically how to learn. A lot of it's kind of a personal development type of uh, theme in terms of getting to, you know, people's insecurities about learning and just letting people know that, hey, you can learn when you start looking at things differently. But uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I do a lot of work on YouTube, which I'm very passionate about. Please consider subscribing and hit that notification uh, bell so you can get my uh, updates on my latest videos. And maybe give it a thumbs up. And I try to read uh, the comments. I do get a ton of comments on the videos, which I'm grateful for. So I try to read as, uh, as much as I can, even though if I, I don't respond uh, to them. Please let me know what you think. And lastly, in the link in the description of this video is my uh, special GED math course. You can take a look at that if you, know, you like my teaching style. Um, I call it the GED uh, Math Accelerator course. It's extremely effective. But anyways, the link is in the description of uh, the video if you're interested. But thank you for your time, and I want to wish you all the best, and have a great day.